I opened my pants and I looked, and every time my heart was beating, blood was shooting out my penis. Oh my god! And I went over to the medic. I'm like, "Is this bad?" If I give you one word, real quick, could you tell me a story that it relates to? Because I'll, I'll know that you know what I mean by this. Urethra. Oh right, <laughs> Urethra Franklin. <laughs> Yeah, one of the, the one, yeah. greatest singers <laughs> of the 20th century. That's exactly what we wanted. Yeah. Um, yes, I, I broke, tore my urethra trying to backflip a motorcycle. Uh, and I can't ride a motorcycle. Travis Pastrana had to let out the clutch for me. Right. <laughs> right. And when he's telling me what I should do, right, because I can't ride. Sometimes I don't listen before a stunt. I'm just like, I just want to do it. I just want to do it. Why is, why is someone talking to me? And you can see in the footage, like, my eyes are somewhere else. Like, Travis Pastrana is giving me really good information. Mm -hmm. Didn't listen to a word. <laughs> and um, he's like, if it, whatever you do, don't, when you come off the ramp, don't let go of the bike because it'll go 20 feet up and turn into a missile and come back down and smash you. I was like, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. And that's what I did. I did it like three or four times. And on the fourth time, it goes 20 feet up in the air. And I land on my back with my knees behind my head, and the bike comes down and breaks its handlebars off in my crotch. Oh my! Yeah, God. it was. Uh, and th that didn't feel good. <laughs> and no? <laughs> no, but it wasn't like extremely painful. But it didn't feel good. Uh, but when I stood up. I felt like I was peeing my pants. And I opened my pants and I looked and every time my heart was beating, blood was shooting out my penis. Oh, my God. And I went over to the medic. I'm like, is this bad? <laughs> He's like, we have to get you to the hospital now. Fuck. Because of the internal bleeding and whatnot. And uh, they got me to the hospital then. What was the recovery like for that? Uh, I had, they wheeled me into surgery immediately. And I had the catheter twice a day for three and a half years afterwards. What, what is that what i think it is? it's like uh it's a plastic tube about this long and you have to insert it into down the hole and first of all oh. which i learned you, you have to wet it which activates the lube and you have to wet the entire uh tube because if you miss a part of the tube it's like sandpaper the tube is when you're going before it's wet. My penis is inside itself. No, before it's wet, it's sandpaper. But if you wet the whole tube, it goes in fine. Did you learn that the hard way? Yeah, because I woke up one morning and there was blood all over my underpants. And I was like, God, I just hope it's the front. I just hope it's the front. I don't know why I hoped it was the front. <laughs> At least you know both that's... are bad. <laughs> But what I did is I didn't wet the entire tube, and so I put it in and then pulled it out real fast. It just shredded the inside of my oh, cup. Oh, oh, fuck. And that happened a couple times. How is your penis now? Great. <laughs> yeah, harder than a turnbuckle. I don't know what a turnbuckle is. Like in a boxing ring, the turnbuckles that hold You know what a turnbuckle ropes. is? Oh, I thought it was another American the corner thing. of a ring. Oh, okay. I thought it was Come another, on. Thought... We were talking about Tyson Fury earlier. You <laughs> yeah. claim to be a fan. He's not the <laughs> no, smartest guy. No, I know. I know. I'm a fake fan. Anyway, Johnny, I know you're very, very pressed for time. Um, Jackass forever. Out now in all cinemas. It's... I mean, everyone out there has seen a jackass, but... And they know. I threw up in my mouth. Go and watch it. It's, it's jackass it. times 10. It's jackass on steroids. It made me feel sick. It made me feel happy. It made me feel sad. It made me feel every emotion under the sun. Johnny, I was wondering if you could do us a favor. It's a dream of ours. Could, could you please... Andy? Could you... <laughs> Is that, is that an offer? Oh, I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> I think you already know what we're going to ask, but we could you look into that camera and say, hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and... This is Jack Mate's Happy Hour. Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is Jack Mate's Happy Hour. Perfect. There we go. Guys, thank you so much for listening. This has been Jack Mate's Happy Hour podcast with the legend that is Johnny Knoxville. Go and get your tickets now. Go to the theatre. Check it out. And uh, Johnny, we always finish with the same question. Mr. Johnny Knoxville, what is the meaning of life? Oh, man. Just uh, love your friends, love your family, and don't take any shit from anybody. There we go. And what football team do you support forever now? West Ham yes! United. <laughs> if the kids are united, they will never. Thank you so much.
I don't want to do the show, a watered down version of the show. So I gave an interview to my hometown newspaper and said I quit. That's very admirable. MTV said you what? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) 